Chronic pain is unfortunately quite common, but there are options out there for dealing with chronic pain. Generally, it's a multimodal approach, so you want to try different things so that you're not just relying on one way to treat. And this includes things like physical therapy, learning the appropriate stretches and exercises for your type of pain, and also massage therapy, acupuncture plays, plays a good role in this. Then there are procedures that can be done for this. So based on the type of pain you have, or based on the pain generator, um, different approaches can be used for this. So it could be injections into joints, into nerves, um, into the muscles, and also at times just remodeling your nervous system by using techniques like spinal cord stimulators, intrathecal pumps. And um, I have to also add, you know, chronic pain is associated with a lot of psychological issues, which is very understandable. And so that plays a huge role also in management of chronic pain. In cancer pain, narcotics, or more specifically opioids, do have a role. Uh, but there are several other medications. You know, there are medications for nerve pain, there are medications for pain that's from inflammation of the joints, and there are muscle relaxants that can be used. So there are several other options other than opioids. Just because you have chronic pain does not mean that you have to be on opioids. In acute pain following surgery, major surgery, following trauma, you know, involving something major like a road traffic accident, fractures, major injuries, there is a role, especially with acute pain. And so in the first six weeks after the trauma, there's absolutely a role and it works really well. It's beyond that that you know, opioids are not recommended, unless of course it's cancer pain. So there is a role for op opioids, but um, again, there are other options. There are interventional procedures that can also be done during the acute phase that can help. So really the goal would be, or the right approach would be to talk to someone you trust who is trained in that specialty and, uh, you know, formulate a plan together. Well, my background is in neurology, and so I treat, I guess we'll start from top to bottom. So I treat headaches, headache syndromes, and then um, arthritis-related pain, which can involve really any joint, including the spine. And so as a result from that, the pinched nerve in the neck, in the low back, and um, things like, um, you know, regional pain syndrome, and I have mostly an interventional-based practice, but I also believe in medications, so I believe in a multimodal approach. Well, chronic pain is complex, and it is a vicious cycle. When someone is dealing with pain, we tend to um, not move as much that leads to more pain and that leads to atrophy of the muscles. So physical therapy plays a huge role in this. Not only do they help in strengthening those muscles, but they also help in teaching people how to stretch correctly. And that just has to be part of their daily routine. And along with that, you know, um, some of these procedures help because people are often not able to tolerate physical therapy because of severe pain. So once we're able to help reduce that, even if it's not by much, then they're able to participate in physical therapy. Inflammation is basically what causes most pain, or at least that's where it starts. And then it's a sensitization of your nervous system. So your brain just does not respond appropriately to the signals, but inflammation is huge. Some of the chronic conditions, like fibromyalgia and, um, well, arthritis. Arthritis is inflammation. So inflammation is huge.
my end goal is for them to be able to function, you know. Um, complete pain relief is not easy, but the goal is for it to be tolerable and to minimize it as much as you can, but so that they're able to function at home, at work, and really live the life that they want to, improve quality of life. So when I see someone with chronic pain, what I'm initially looking for is what is the cause of pain? What is generating that person's pain? And apart from narcotics, there are other medications that can be used. So there are medications for nerve pain, there are muscle relaxants, and then there are medications for inflammation. And apart from that, I do interventional procedures, which involve really um, desensitizing or injecting steroids into these pain generators. Sometimes it's injections into the muscle, sometimes it's around or into a joint, or sometimes it's in the spine, targeting a specific nerve. Other procedures that I perform for this are spinal cord stimulators, and, um, and then I work very closely with physical therapy for my patients. Um, unfortunately, with chronic pain, people tend to move less and less. It's, you know, part of living with chronic pain. And um, as a result, there's more stiffness, there's more atrophy of the muscles, and just a general deconditioning, which further aggravates their pain. And not to, you know, forget their mental health. So just by moving, learning the appropriate exercises to strengthen the muscles, to maintain stability of their core and spine, and to stretch daily plays a huge role in overall improvement.